Hello, hello, hello. Let me make sure that the live broadcast is coming through. Yes, we are good. Welcome to the replay. If you are catching this on replay, let me know by dropping the word replay in the comments. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to you. I hope you are having an amazing day, whatever day, whatever time it is on that day that you happen to be watching this. Welcome to the broadcast. If this is your first time here, my name is Monique James and I am a master content strategist and owner of Renegade Creative Media Group. And we help and support purpose-driven business and brand owners to achieving content clarity. Content clarity is important because once you are clear on the content that you deliver in the way that you deliver it uh, aligned with the people that you want to help, you can leverage that content to help you build awareness, establish credibility, and get paid online. So I'm excited to have this conversation with you. This is going to be a brief chat, but it's going to be impactful. So before we jump in, I would encourage you to share this broadcast because I'm sure that there is somebody that you know, a business owner, a purpose-driven business, a brand owner that is trying to navigate these times that we are in. And I am sure that they might be feeling the need to maybe reassess the foundation of their businesses. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the difference uh, between personal and professional core values. On August 27th, I'm going to be teaching a boot camp about how to define the values that will drive your business into the success that you want. And I want to make sure that everybody is clear, make sure that we all have this foundation of understanding leading up to the training. So let's talk about the difference between personal and professional core values. Now, I did a survey, an unofficial survey, about a month ago in three or four of the groups that I am in on Facebook, and I asked a question, one simple question. I asked, why do you believe business owners do not, or they skip the process of defining their core values or their brand values? And one of the answers says this, some folks just don't have any. <laughs> I love this response. Who and what you are within your spirit truly does spill over into your business and other aspects of your life. This, this comment, this response is at the core of this conversation that we're going to have today, because I think that a lot of business owners sometimes believe that the business operates as an entity that is outside of them, right? They think that I am the person, the business is separate from me. There is a distance between the two of us. So what I believe personally should not filter into how I do business. And I am here to answer the question finally about whether or not there is a difference between personal and professional values or what that difference is. And that difference is nothing. There really is no difference. You, whether it's your mom and pop operation in the neighborhood, on the, on the corner of your neighborhood, or it is a large global uh, corporation. The values that proliferate through that organization started with the person that began the organization. It started with the person who had the original idea to create that organization. So there is no difference between your personal and your professional values. Now, there may be some things that you believe personally that don't filter through your business, and that's fine. But you are the genesis. You are the nucleus. Our values do not change based on the situation that we're in or the company that we're keeping. Our values are our values. Our beliefs are our beliefs. They don't change. And I believe that business owners often don't go through that process or don't don't show or don't uh, aren't bold and loud about what their values are through their businesses out of fear, fear of being in conflict with their peers or with their partners or with their followers. So they tend to stifle what it is that they believe as it relates to how that shows up in their business. I want to remind all of us, especially in the times that we're in right now, that our businesses are reflections of us and our perspectives on the world. Our businesses are reflections of us and our perspectives on the world. And in my opinion, our business is designed 
to welcome and escort people into sharing our beliefs. Because if they share our beliefs, then they'll see value and find value in the products and services that we have to offer. And they'll be more inclined to buy them because they share our perspectives on the world. And it's impossible for your potential customers and clients to know if you are their person, if you're not showing up guided by your values. If you're not showing up in your authenticity, they can't tell if you believe the same thing that they do. So whether you sell physical products or you sell services, everything that you do, everything that comes out of your business, every experience that you create, every product that you sell, every piece of content that you create, it is an extension of your core values. It's the way that you let the world know what your values are. And because you do that, because they're infused with your values, then you will attract the community that shares those beliefs. If you say that your you value integrity, humility, and community, then those things should show up in everything that you do. One of my core values is creativity. So when I have a conversation about killing a snake that I caught in my garage and turning that into a business development lesson, that's how my creativity shines through. That's how that core value comes through and how it proliferates through what I do every single day. If I say I value community and I value creativity, then I'm going to show up and do things in a very specific way that makes that clear to the people that choose to connect with me. Because my core is always my core. Your core is always your core. What you practice in your life should show up in how you practice in your business. So there is no difference between your personal and your professional, in my opinion. If anything, the the personal values flow through what you do in your professional life. If I believe in honesty in, in my personal life, then that's going to show up in how I do business. If I believe in integrity, if I believe in mutual respect, that's going to show up in how I do my business. So if you are watching this broadcast and you know that you need support, you are wanting to figure out, maybe you need to reassess how your personal values show up in your professional business and in your professional uh, dealings, then I want to encourage you to sign up to register for my Values to Profit Bootcamp that is going to be happening on August the 27th. It is a free bootcamp that is going to teach you how to define the core values that will help your business flourish and thrive. And if the pandemic and the racial reckoning that we are in right now haven't shown you, if, there, if these things aren't a clue that your values need to be on the front street of your business so that people can know for sure whether or not they should support you, that I don't know what, I don't know what else reminder we need. <laughs> so if you are watching this on Periscope, you can click the link in my bio and the page that opens up, the very first button will take you to the information for the bootcamp. If you are watching this on Facebook, then I will update the caption to this broadcast and the link will be included in the caption. Now more than ever, we as business owners have a responsibility, I believe. I believe that strongly in this. We have a responsibility to show the people that follow us and to show the world what it is that we stand for. Because here's the thing. You don't have to agree with me. You could think, well, you know what? I don't need to show people what I stand for. And that's fine. But I am here to tell you that the consumers that are looking, the consumers that want to know what you stand for, they're not going to ask you. If it's not clear what you stand for, then they'll go support somebody else. So you can choose right now to reassess and redefine what matters to you and what matters to your business. And you can make those things clear every day and how you show up in the decisions that you make in the conversations that you create. And then it will be clear to your audience that you are their person. 
and they will be able to freely support you, share your content, buy your products, invite people to your groups and all of those things. So jump in, get the information, register for the boot camp. It's going down in nine days now, August 27th. I encourage you to uh, sign up if you know you need the support. If you haven't already shared the broadcast, please share this broadcast. If you have questions, comments, anything after this broadcast is over, if you're watching this on the replay, drop them in the comment box or find me online. I am all over the internet under my name, Monique James, M-O-N-I-E-K James. This is a conversation that we all need to have. This, Our core values are one of the things that I consider to be a bottom brick of our business. If you're building a house, you have to make sure that your foundation is, is firm, that your foundation is secure. And if you are building a business right now, then your foundation needs to be secure. And that starts with your core values. So I'm going to end this broadcast the way that I end every single one of my broadcasts with the hashtag reminder of baby steps to greatness. The hashtag represents a decision that you have to make for yourself. Nobody can step into your business and make these decisions for you. You have to do it. You're the leader. You're in charge. And baby steps to greatness means that you've decided that every single day that you get up, that you are blessed to get up, you are going to take a disciplined, intentional, and actionable step. You're not just being busy for the sake of being busy. You're doing things that move you closer to the higher vision that you have for your business. You're doing things that move you closer to your goal. So I encourage you to do something today that moves you closer to your goal. And if defining your core values is the thing, register for the boot camp, and I'll see you then. I will catch you all in my next broadcast. Later.